This next comedian just dreams of being on JD's podcast. Let's give it up for Sammy Anzer. Thank you. Oh my God, guys. Just like Lauren, um, I also, I have an audition coming up. I don't want to brag. I do want to brag. Um, I don't want to jinx it though. If everything goes right, let me just tell you guys. In about two weeks, you guys could be looking at the newest. You got that? <laughs> I got that. I was talking about my audition. I'm so excited about it. Everything goes right. Two weeks, you guys could be looking at the newest member of ISIS. <laughs> Here we go. It's the beard. It's kind of required there. Uh, I moved to uh, Denver from New York, and um, when I was growing up in New York, I was raised by women, and it has its, its pros and its cons. You know, pro, obviously I'm a fantastic dresser. No one here is debating that fact. Let's just move on, okay? Um, con, I'm not the manliest guy in the world. I never learned how to do like really manly things, like, like whistle. <laughs> you know, when you tell someone you can't whistle, the first thing they do is they go, oh, you can't whistle? <laughs> you guys know what whistling sounds like, right? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, what kind of jerk are you? Are you going up to people in wheelchairs like, oh, you can't walk? Look at this. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. Been doing that since I was 12. Growing up in New York was hard, though, I gotta tell you. I remember one time we moved in uh, to this one-bedroom apartment. It was across from the projects, and we were eating Chinese food off the floor. No, not off the floor. We had but very thin paper plates. You know what I'm saying? And like the free plastic forks. Like, it was nothing lavish. And I looked at my mom, I was like, hey, mom, are, are we poor? And without missing a beat, she goes, Honey, we are rich in love. And I was like, oh, hell no, we're poor. God damn. But now that's all changed. Now I'm living lavish. Now I got nice, nice things. Can I tell you guys what I got? Can I tell you guys what I got? I got a silver refrigerator. Silver. Do you guys know the levels of refrigerators? <laughs> look, I'm gonna tell you right now, look. Bottom level, tapioca. <laughs> you got a tapioca refrigerator, you're not doing too good. You're probably taking the bus a lot. One level up, this is most of you. White refrigerator. You're not good, you're not bad. But one level on top of that, Silver refrigerator. <laughs> That's what I got. With the, with the water dispenser? You know what I'm talking about? I got that on the side. And the different styles of ice? I got crushed. Cubed. Yo, all types of ice. I don't remember them. I got a lot. I'm living, I made it. Guys, in my apartment building, my doorman is white. <laughs> Do you know how much that means to me? <laughs> Yo, why are you guys in the back acting like you're not that impressed over there? <laughs> Do you know the levels of doorman? <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you the whole thing, just know white is at the top, okay? <laughs> That's the best kind of doorman you could have. His name is Walker. He got a last name for a first name. I try to give him some knowledge though. I try to teach him how to be successful like me. You know what I'm, I'm like, Walker, you wanna be successful like me? You want to pay your rent on time like me? You want to have imitation granite countertops like me? Got you, I got you this book 
right here. It's on um, financial success. It's by DMX. <laughs> it's called Financial Success, Freedom and Achievement. X go and give it to you. <laughs> Some one person like that. How come you guys, are, you guys have been here five minutes and you haven't even mentioned DMX once? What's going on? <laughs> Why are you guys not talking about DMX? That man is one of the best rappers of all time. Okay, can I take a guess as to why you're not talking about DMX? Is it, is it because he got arrested four times for impersonating a police officer? <laughs> four separate times for impersonating a police officer. Four times? <laughs> what was that man thinking? If it's all right with you, I would like to act out my rendition of those four times DMX got arrested for impersonating a police officer. Is that okay? And then I'm going to go. All right, all right. All right, first time. Ugh. It's me, the police. Give me the drugs. Ugh. It's me, the police. Give me the drugs and the money. It's me, the police. At what point did the collision occur? <laughs> ruh, ruh, ruh. <laughs> that was him impersonating a canine officer. <laughs> Thank you guys, I'm Sammy Anzer. Thank you so much for your time. you ever heard a refrigerator joke go so well? I haven't. Wow. Uh, so where are you performing next? Where can we catch you? Oh, um, I don't even know. I have to check my... You know what? Um, just find me on Instagram. Send me a message, and then I'll tell you if you want to come see me. I'm performing. Good he, he doesn't post. You have to, like, direct message him, and then he'll let you know, right? I'll get you in. Oh. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, let's give it up for Sammy. Thank you so much for being here, man. <laughs> Well, that concludes our wonderful night. We do have our raffle, though. And if you want to win, you got to stay seated. So let's get Leslie. Oh, up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. Hey, how's it going? So, all right. So what are we raffling tonight? We are raffling our free $100 uh, membership to DOM and then two Comedy Works tickets. Awesome. So we're going to go for the membership first. And it does come with a free class, right, Joel? Yes. yes. Okay. So...